Hello, Mr. Keller. I'm Alex Wonk. Come on in. Come to Wonk Mansions, right? This is a secret house. Garage. Builder. Yeah? Builder. So this is my garage where I live. Got all of my stuff here. We have some drums. Oh, look, I have some of my paintings. You can't see the bottom, but yeah? But it says, look, just because I'm a Tory, at the bottom it says, doesn't mean I'm a cunt. Yeah, but it actually, this is called, yes it does. Labia, not for touching, unless you are asked to. It's funny, some of my t-shirts, that's what funds my t-shirt. This t-shirt has funded me good. The original, I love my vagina print. We've got the original wood pigeon drawing. It's a big t-shirt. Now this, I found this bunny rabbit on the 134 bus, going through Muswell Hill. And I love that rabbit. So that rabbit I stole and it became my third album. So somewhere there's a little artist that drew that. Ah, oh, of course. The famous Dinosaurs and Wankers graphic. Cement you can't skateboards. Cement you can't is, is from the line upon the scaffold the wind cuts through. Which goes like this. Um, bricks, fucking awful bricks. Why do you plague me so? Oh, vicious thermalite, wind doth blow your poison dust in my eyes. Cement, you cunt. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! Kings, throwing arrows, what a disgusting bunch. Scrolled in buggery, bullying and rugby, bunch of cunts. History of Alex, yeah? Early 90s, 16 year old Alex works for MCA Records, which became Universal in Soho. Formed the Fly Medallions to get into Soho's clubs. We formed the medallions and we became like the, the, the darlings of Soho and the fashion mags. 94, big year for music, Oasis and Blur. And the Fly Medallions, we love everything, everything's great. So this is how fuck off the Fly Medallions were, yeah? When our record label said to us, what colour vinyl do you want? Because we were just hooligans, yeah? We were just idiots, yeah? We said, we want all colours. <laughs> so we requested, <laughs> we said every single colour. So that shit coloured vinyl, that piece of puke on the pavement, that's us just being arseholes. Fast forward sort of 10 years, wonk unit. I started making music again. I hadn't made punk for years, so I'm in recovery. Mm -hmm. you know? And so early wonk unit was my AA. You know, I was writing about, I was essentially sharing, group therapy sharing. So the first record, Full of Rage. I'd been sober five years. This was a record where I was strong, I was sober, and I was, you know, I didn't have panic attacks anymore. I weren't insecure, I didn't have the voice in the head had gone. Record number two, Trolley's Thank You. These are original covers right here, baby. My girlfriend at the time, she used to go out late at night, take photos of all her friends. They'd be out drinking cider, and she'd take photos of her friends naked in places like Sainsbury's car parks. One of these photos was this girl, and she was sitting in the trolleys, thank you. She had, a, she had a, her boobs out. And I was like, I really want to use this photo for an album cover, is that cool? And literally at the last minute, she changed her mind. That was the lift in the block of flats I was, I was living in. And we took those photos and I was like, you know what? That's the cover. I and mean, also that's got Duncan Redmond from Snuff, who was like, you know, one of the greatest musicians I think of all time, Duncan. And he joined Walk Unit for this album. He changed punk rock for, you know, no effects in America, uh -huh. Snuff in the UK. Muffy. So this album was a big, big changer for me because I've got a poetry blog called Cement You Come. And that's where I put all my creative writing. Shakespeare and building poetry, yeah. I was in on my own Christmas Eve, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna try and write some music to my poetry. So two minutes later, I'd written Horses. So I was like, that was easy. I wrote this album in about an hour. Nervous Racers, started working with the first, so a label approached me, wanted to work with me. Working with a label, we got more exposure to a different, you know, to more people. My original ethos was I'm never gonna ask for a gig or mm -hmm. a view. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna ask for anything. I'll make music for me. If people wanna work with me, they can, but I'm not putting my future in the hands of others. Feel the darkness, feel the wonkness. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So the, we did this for America. So this is basically a best of wonk unit. Mr. Splashy, I am Mr. Splashy. Never better. So when I was growing up, I'd be having a wash, yeah, in the sink. My mum would come in after us and say, oh look, Mr. Splashy's been in here. And this is my nan. Now, this has got some big and so awful these. jeans. And, and now what Wonka now starting to sort of break out a bit more from the DIY scene and get 
a little bit further afield. Then our last full album, Terror, that's the Terror Bowl, yeah? So my friend Andy May, he come over from America, skated my bowl, it was nice, he went. Next morning I come out, and without my knowledge, he'd written Terror underneath the coping. And I took a photo and I was like, that's beautiful. Even though Wonk is such a brand, when it comes to our records, I like to keep it subtle. All right, okay, yeah. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna stop this now. Right, okay, so that's um, Slaves, Wonk Unit, uh, Are You Satisfied Tour. I think that was, no, that was a Scala, sorry. That was Slaves White Knuckle Ride, which is my favorite Slave song, and it was the first Slave song I heard that blew my mind and I knew they were gonna become the band they are. And that's me being Isaac on the video. So I'm playing drums, playing my favorite Slave song. And what I like about this video is at the end, Isaac sees it. I think he's jealous. He knows I did a better job than him, basically. So that's me being Isaac. I love Laurie's Lo guitar tone is just incredible. Unforgiving. You have to treat this bowl with respect. You always just have to be gentle with her. I seem to be the one that really gets injured in here. <laughs> <laughs> Quick fires. Oh fucking hell. I wear my heart on my sleeve. People know everything about me. Love Ranch, Maximus, Leicester Square. Oh, and Gossips on D Street. Aerial Salad from Manchester. It's run by people that don't care about music. No one. Yes, rubbishly. Late 80s. 12 bar. Fashion hat. So then you can't skate, actually. Is that it? We're all linked. Ah, uh, oh, oh, I've got something. What's next? New Wong single, Summertime. <laughs> 